back again. Another episode of Grappling Dash Podcast. How's it going, Kippers? Yeah, I'm here. Hey. I'm here. I'm here. You know what we can do? Totally paying attention. We can talk about sponsors. We need to. Go. You go. No way. You go. I just do the... I, I don't want to go. It got stuck to me, and dude, I don't want it. Dude, I started this thing. All right. Yeah. Well, one of our best and favorite sponsors... Okay, we got two. Is uh, Tap Tape. Brings you the Death Grip Tape, which we love oh so much. I'm a fan. And you will hear about way too much. I put it on my wife's finger today, and she loved it. Sweet. And that wasn't even during jujitsu. I think I talked about... Uh, not taping my fingers one time and the time I decided oh I forgot or I didn't have time or whatever it was yeah I jammed my finger <laughs> that was good for about three months of pain every time I made a fist so what what do you say in there yeah, so you use tap tape every time you roll every single time there you go every where do you finger. get tap tape where do you get it for me you have to come to my house well that's just creepy I know I think tap tape might get upset you know what they should do they should come to the gym and train with us do you realize where he's based no the Carolinas sir that's he should move. Yeah, move. <laughs> you like to travel, Mike. Move. <laughs> right? Michigan, it's, it's like Korea, but better. Wow, that would, Maybe. No, I wouldn't know. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I haven't been there. I just know what I see in the news, bro. That's all I got. <laughs> well, uh, it's a great company, great product. We like it a lot. You'll hear about it more and more. And try it. It's right there on Amazon. Just type in tap tape. Look for the death grip. Death That's grip. the stuff we really, really like. It's black. It's cool. Yep, and it gets stickier the harder you roll with it, which is really quite cool. And bonus, makes you look tough. Yes, it does, because it's black. Yeah. Dude, who doesn't want to wear black tape? No, exactly. No, so. Way better than white tape. They have white I, tape. I, I will. They, dude, they have hey, white tape, too. Hey, I don't care. The fission tape is, I don't care. is white. Get death grip. Yeah, I do like the death grip. Yeah. But I, we haven't tried the fission tape. Mike. I don't want to. I want to. I don't. Mike. I like the death rate. Mike. Tap tape. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> All right, but yeah, yeah we, we, we joke, but it is awesome. And yeah. then you get to do the next sponsor. Who's the next sponsor? That would be Chad. He's Pomeroy. not the sponsor. <laughs> oh. He, Black he Line Jiu-Jitsu, it's company, is the sponsor. Oh. That's why it's Black Line Studios. Fair enough. Black that Line Studios. Where the are they sponsor. located? 68th, month 31. What's your address there? Do you have it memorized? Nope. Damn it. I can tell you the old one. <laughs> <laughs> so can I. <laughs> <laughs> yep, our old location if you want to go there. You know, the funny thing is he moved into this nice new gym. Very, very, very step up. Okay. Oh, it's a big the... step up. It's oh, got yeah. the kids, kids room in the back, the couches, places to keep my kids, you know, screaming less. It's fantastic. I really like it. He needs a bigger place already. I'm I know. <laughs> we all grew that shit like instantly. <laughs> well, we didn't. The hey, kids, we got a bigger place. The kids are bigger. Good. The kids class is a freaking monster. I, I love know. it. It's great. So if then he is just he's oh gosh, I hate to use the word inspirational, but he kinda is with the kids. He just keeps them going and they just listen and Morgan and the helpers. Oh yeah. Yeah, the helpers got is Unreal. Great. And then you have Adam coming in, he'll just come in just to help out with the kids class and bring his kids in and then leave because he's got to go to the farm and plant and pull shit. This real man's work is what he does. Adam, have you met Adam? I'm not a real man. Okay, he's way more than the man yeah. than me. I met his Camaro. That's pretty legit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucker. Anyways, Black Line, head on out. It's worth the trip. Get your train on. Train with the grappling dads and people way better than us. Yeah. You'll be impressed by them. Yeah. You'll uh, get a kick out of us, though. Yeah, we can make you laugh. We are fucking funny there. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're distracting. I don't know. Oh, we're definitely distracted. Yeah. I love when, uh, when you asked uh, Jesse the other day, we're like, are we distracted? He's like, smiles and goes, no. no. Yes, we yes, are. We are yes. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. We're dicks. We love you, Jesse. We, yes. We'll dance around you, Jesse. It'll be weird. But hey, speaking of the kids class, we talked to your daughter today. We did. I'm super excited. And we were uh, lamenting that she didn't want to. I was. Well, you were. I was pouting. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Unless she was like, yeah, she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to compete. I'm like, I think maybe, because my daughter does. So I yeah, thought Caden maybe, for sure does. Yeah, so I thought maybe if Caden did it, then she'd be... Yeah, then Annie like, would more ah, likely... She just, yeah. you know, doesn't give me that uh No, that she impression. told me no. She, it wasn't an impression. Right. She freaking told me. Right. But apparently, she's she's coming around, changing her mind. Yeah, doesn't want to do it. Yeah, doesn't want to do it now, but eventually she says she wants to uh, get into that. So. Yeah, it wasn't even like, I maybe want to try it. Like yeah. It was a, uh, no, I want to get better and try. Whoa. Your little eyes lit up. Oh, yes, they did. It was adorable. So, yeah, if you have kids that don't want to train or don't want to train, don't want to compete now, hey, things change. As they get more comfortable, as they learn more, they get a little bit more confident. 
because she realizes what she can do to some of the other people there. I mean, she's definitely growing a hell of a skill set. Dude, but, she, she's a beast. Oh, yeah. She's a little beast. And little is the optimum word. We are a small family. Well, we you, are skinny. We're tall, though. We're tall as shit. Yeah. But, well, we're not. We're only, I'm only like six foot, but. Taller than me. Not saying much. Tiny little sprite. <laughs> Fits in the pocket. <laughs> Sleep in a drawer. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think Addie weighs maybe 70 pounds. So is it just me? And she's 12 tomorrow. She's, yeah, she's skinny. But, yes. yeah, very tall. But she can she can do some work in class. I love it. Yeah, that's why I like to pair my kids off with certain other children, like I was saying about uh, Yeah, you Preston. talked about that before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it, it makes them want to work hard. So you just got to get the right training partners. Not it's, not like you and I. We we are the wrong <laughs> the wrong training partners. Yes, we're each other's training partner, and that goes quite sideways. At least I don't try to hurt you. Bam. Are you fu- are you kidding me? I don't try to hurt you. Try. I don't know if I think you do. I think that switch of you being really nice and like, oh, I don't want to hurt him, goes away. Oh, it does when your knee shield comes. Yeah, up. when my shield just don't do pops that. You'll be fine. In the chest. Don't be. Don't do that, and uh, you'll be fine. But no. So is that what you do when you compete? You walk up to him, okay, you can't use this. Yeah. Other than that, we're good. Yeah. If you want to lose, Slap bump, knee go. shield me, and I'm going to I'm gonna turn it on. Not that it matters. It doesn't. <laughs> I, I, just it get, doesn't. I just get fussy and glare at you. I, I can't do any more work. It's this other stupid, yeah. constipated face. Oh, God. The, dumb, the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life, and I hear it to this day, is, dude, if I get really mad, I, Look can, out. I can kick your ass. I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can I can point you to the last UFC card. The people that got the fussiest, they all lost their titles. Every oh one of them. Gosh, right all the row. ones that got like in their face. Like, oh yeah, John J. Tech. The funny thing about her is, she, she's really nice. Like her post on Instagram. Who uh, Robert told me about that? I do believe. Yep. Yeah, it was Robert. She's the nice. She uh, she has these sweet little Instagram posts, and she's nice. And then you see her there, and she's like, "I'm gonna murder you. Yeah. I got a secret." <laughs> no, what did she say? What was her? What was her? Oh my thing? gosh, I forgot. I forgot too. But it was it was terrible. I think she was just. I'm she, not. It's an act. When it's an act, because I think Bisbing's an act too. I think his shits. He just tries to uh, piss people off. He was the first one to really come out WWE style and try that shit. Yeah, so. You know, I, I, I actually literally can't tell if it's an act or not sometimes. I, well, you can't read people with a shit. No. I assume everybody hates me. So. <laughs> Just default. Well, <laughs> that's a given, though. <laughs> so that's, that's not an assumption. That's a truth. All right. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's uh-huh. perfect. That hurts. Hey. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's so accurate. I don't like it. <laughs> it's the stop yeah. saying accuracies. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So, but yeah, I think that's all freaking act. Uh, they're making a t- shit ton of money. Look at Connor. Telling McG- telling uh, Mayweather everything under the sun, just insulting every fiber of that dude's being, and he smiles and hugs him at the end. Why? Got fucking paid. Literally ran out of shit to say halfway through. Oh, like, yeah. You, now you're just on repeat. Yeah, now he's <laughs> just like, well, I'm halfway through this tour. I'm just going to keep with this stuff. Right. <laughs> it's my go-to because I'm really not that pissed at you. Exactly. But uh, Cody Garbrandt, I think. No, really he he hated. he really hated. Yeah, he yeah. really that, hated. That was if he wants the ultimate fighter season, he flipping oh, hated yeah. TJ. But I mean, in in the defeat, he was pretty cool. He just said, "Hey, I made a mistake. No, yeah. He capitalized. He, he was a better it, man today. Is what it is. Yeah, fuck that." Was, but yeah, the point. Up. The, the the point I was trying to make was. Anger doesn't make you better. <laughs> it doesn't make you a better it's fighter. It's a long like, trip. You can't, you can't just be angry and be like, oh, boom. Yeah. Instant skill set. Instant anger. <laughs> anger. Uh, mm. No, man, my adrenaline really good. It's amazing. There, like, I become a ninja when I'm pissed. <laughs> like, I don't think you understand what, what this is. Like, the, the fight game is, is kind of special in that way where technique actually overcomes strength. That's why we do this. It's what yes. martial arts is supposed to be about. Especially jujitsu. Yeah. Almost more than any other. I, I, I don't agree. know. Judo's kind of that way, too, though. Yeah. There's just not. It's as, using their power yeah. to throw themselves around almost, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't do it. Well, I like. I like Nate DeCamp could show me. That's true. I, well, think, uh, I guess he's really good at it, and I avoid his class every time he comes. <laughs> I just can't be thrown on my head, man. I just can't do I, it. No, at this back. point, my neck will just. like. Yeah. I, I think tears can come out of my neck at this yeah. point. Even my. my, my <laughs> My break fall is shit. It's why hard. is your break fall shit? Because I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't practice it. That's probably why. My, uh, I don't, don't practice it, it either, but I can take a throw. No, I can't. Well, I mean, 
Maybe my break falls not bad. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> that, maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe you're so brittle, you just fuck a break. <laughs> that might be the case. Because Corrier threw me. I don't even know what the fuck happened, but my wife informed me my feet almost touched the ceiling. <laughs> well, I don't think that matters so much as the landing. So he can get you off the ground. No, it was the landing. It Dude, was oh, so the landing gentle. was vicious. No, it was not. No? Oh. It made a hell of a noise. It could, And he goes, well, at least you landed well. <laughs> like, yeah, fair enough. Thanks. My knee hit my other knee. I'm just going to walk away like that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I can't do that stuff. I don't need that in my life. I just... Well, yeah, well, neither do I. Uh, I'm brittle, and yep. yeah, it's not good I keep on. I keep on, air quotes, joking, that if I ever get in a real fight... I'm pulling guard. I'm gonna butt scoot. <laughs> okay. We've talked. We've said that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not air quoting shit. I'm yeah. straight up doing that. Yeah. Coming at me, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, either running or butt scooting. It's just that's my options. <laughs> running and butt scooting. Yeah. Good thing you trained. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully, I, you know what we should do? We should practice like two on one jujitsu training. Like, hey, if they got a buddy, <laughs> how long can I last? Not very long. <laughs> Some. Uh, most people not going to vote for Chad, we're going to find that out. Chad, next class, what we're going to do, two-on-ones. Yeah, no, no, just two-on-one. We're going to attack Chad. No, no, <laughs> no, I got an idea, I got an idea. So we've already talked about how uh, how Rob, he doesn't like the flow roll. He likes to get after it. So I propose that Chad and Justin team up on Rob. <laughs> um, um, that doesn't seem fair to Rob. I know. <laughs> Rob's a blue belt, but he's a beast. He is you, a fucking beast. He's a beast, and he's a but. <laughs> he's so strong. <laughs> he's so strong. <laughs> but look at Justin. Justin accidentally like breaks you in half. He's like, with that smile of his, where he's like, "Ah, that was pretty." Oh, did I hurt you? <laughs> like, yes. No, Justin just. A yes, Justin. He he's one of the I, I think he's one of the best people at rolling the stripe above you. Fuck like, yeah! We, we talk about that a lot. Like you, yeah. you, you and uh, Ben brought that up at the last class. Oh, where did you get that idea though? I don't know. Oh wait, it was us. Nah. We're listens. influencing people. <laughs> That's scary. Well, I think uh, I think he actually got that from Corler. It just we brought it up on the show. Yes, but, but we, whatever. Were, we were whatever. a friendly reminder. Yeah, exactly. Stop That's taking my shit away from me. I was so excited. Ah, that's it was false, it's but what I still. <laughs> but yeah, basically, rolling with somebody just a little bit above them to push them, but you're not, you're not being a douche. You're not being a, you know, a mm-hmm. bully. Yeah. And I think, uh, from my feel, I guess Justin does that really good because he could wreck me if he wanted. Clearly, it's he's significantly better. But well, especially always, because his go-to shit's leg locks, which uh, everyone has heard. Yeah. Paul is inept at no, <laughs> and inept at defending them. <laughs> so, so speaking of that, I was rolling with, uh, let me finish my story. So yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> no more tangents. Wow. That was impressive. I stopped myself. <laughs> stopped the tangent. So yeah, just, uh, you know, calling out uh, somebody like Jesse where you just roll, just, it feels like a really good hard roll. It feels like I did good. Even Jesse's, though Jesse, if you haven't, yeah. is, uh, how many stripe purple belt? Two stripe purple belt. Yeah, just letting everybody know. So he's above Paul. And I was talking about Justin. <laughs> Justin. Justin. I thought you were talking about Jesse all of a sudden. Nope, Justin. I'm confused. Just yeah. kidding. I'm just yeah. an idiot. But Fair no, enough. Justin's a beast. Yeah. Yeah. Go. But yeah, just yeah, Justin's a beast. He's probably the strongest guy. He does CrossFit all the time. He just he's Odonis like. But when he I really roll with is. him, when I roll with him, it feels like hey, I got work done. I feel good about that roll. Because he made it that way. Yeah, it, he chose to make it that so, way. So, yeah, if, if you're good at jiu-jitsu or you're levels above the person you're rolling with, just act accordingly and make it seem really fun. And it's not hold easy on, to hold do. On, hold it's on, hold on. Wait, easy. wait, wait. Hold on. Go. Can I ask a question in the middle yeah. of this? Yeah. Didn't you tell me to wreck people that, like, that they're le- like lower rank than me? Nope. What I told you was if they're not going, <laughs> nope. <laughs> if they're not going to tap, and they've been there for months, no, no, then that's not you what I'm talking make about. Make them tap. That's not what I'm talking about. Because I have an issue with that. Also, I have many issues. I suck at this game, but whatever. Oh, well, we'd all do it in our own way. Yeah, it's all comparative. We've talked about that. We can talk about that Ooh. actually a little bit. We should talk about that later. after we're done with this topic. Yeah, after this tangent, yes. I think it's. A good I don't even think this tangent. Ha- I think this started from another tangent that spurred into another oh, tangent. Oh, oh, let me get. Let me get up to the. I'm sorry to cut you off, but no, I wanted. To, I wanted to talk about that one thing that I almost tangent tangented <laughs> off before. That's not a word either. <laughs> Leg. <laughs> I know. Leg locks. 
Yep. Yes, go. So so Morgan's been uh, working on her, her leg game. Yes. So she's all getting tangled up. So she's doing that on me, and she did nothing. But my, my <laughs> meniscus decided, yeah, I'm going to flip upside down right now. So I, I did my oh, little... Oh, you did it again. Oh, I did it again. It was uh, Monday. So I did my little screamy thing where I, I grabbed my leg and, <laughs> oh my God, you know, one of those things. And she, she goes, you know, she felt terrible. I actually felt... Worse for her than I did for my current pain. Yeah, because I was she's, yeah, she's so she, careful. She didn't do anything. She she was I was going for something, but I had nothing. I'm like, no, 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 wasn't you. So if you're listening, Morgan, wasn't you at all? Well, my, she's you want to know what though? Just to throw that out there, she's really good at rolling a, a belt above. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she never, is. even when I was starting, she never made me feel bad until she figured out she she didn't like me. <laughs> and then she beat the living shit out well, of me ever you, since. Yeah, when we open our mouths and be like, all right, it's going to be like that. That was before the I damn see. show. <laughs> I was hated before. Well, you <laughs> opened your mouth at the gym. I mean, constantly. If you're going to give shit, you're going to get shit. That's just how it works. Why does it have to be abuse, though? Mine uh, are just words. Words don't hurt people. Well, we got, we got this. Did you see how I turned that around? <laughs> words don't hurt people. Uh, but they do. But they, they do. do. <laughs> Use your words, Kip. No, but anyway, it wasn't her fault. My my knee just decided to do its thing again and and pop right out. Nice. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's really you great. Limp around for a week or two and then it goes away like nothing happened. It's, yeah, it's terrible. I like how you lied to me when I asked you what the fuck happened. You realize you lied to me. When? Oh no, it's just money. Earlier, yeah, uh, Friday, you were limping down the damn stairs. And I was like, "What's wrong?" Like, nothing. Just same old, same old. Say, well, it kind of is. No, it <laughs> Some shit happened again <laughs> to make the same old, same old happen. <laughs> yeah, it's been doing it since like sixth grade. Well, whatever. Whatever. Be more fucked up. <sighs> nope, can't. Moving on. Pretty soon, man. Those stem cells are going to be a thing. Or I'm going to go to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, we're going to go on vacation. Where, Dad? Germany. It's going to be. It's going to be great. It's going to be liverwurst. <laughs> I don't even know if that's there. Uh, sausage. Dad's going to drink a lot of uh, beer, yeah. even though he hates it. And eat a lot of sausage? What do they make there? I, I what, don't what know. I was just for? guessing, too. Uh, schnitzel? Ah, well. well. <laughs> we don't know. We're yeah. Offending multiple different cultures. Oh, well, we're talking about Morgan. I want to bring up the fact that she wrecked shop at her last Oh, my gosh. And then became, like, amazing-er? Yeah. Amazing-er. That's Tell, well, yeah, sure. Tell the story, Kit. Okay, because the only reason I know it is because she won't tell me, but my wife did. Aha. She told my wife. We got it in. Hey, Morgan, don't tell my wife shit. <laughs> I'll hear about we it. We will find out. Actually, no, I and won't. we will praise you on the air. <laughs> Actually, I won't. All I'll hear is, Morgan told me the coolest shit. I'm not telling you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't how, how do that. How dare you? <laughs> so, I know a lot of cool shit that Morgan might tell me someday. <laughs> there you go. Yay. But, uh... So she meddled in three, just dominated, meddled in three different divisions. I think they might have been all no gi. Oh, no. She, uh, she got no, a it was gi. And a, yeah. No gi. And then um, a third, I think it was gi. And she, there was a white belt division, which she's a blue, four stripe blue. She had no, the girl had no one to fight, no one to do a roll with. So Morgan steps up and says, sure, I'll roll with you. Of course, Morgan beats her, rightfully so. And what does Morgan do? Morgan gives her medal to her for her effort and how hard she worked to be there. That is adorable. You fucking, that's more than adorable. That's, that's fucking awesome. That is awesome. You want to know like what that. I do when I get a medal? Shine that shit. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so. no, Morgan's cooler than we ever will be. Oh my so. <laughs> God. So it's pretty easy to be there, but she she nice. takes it a whole new level. So yeah, I'm proud to be able to train with, with people like that. That's yeah. cool. And really also like. that she just dominates dominated it's she, she won the purple it. belt spent, division yeah. the blue belt division yep. she's working the white belt it. Yeah, apparently <laughs> the white belt it just cleaned house so well it was great it was a bit it was a pretty decent sized tournament it just wasn't for the white belts i think it was just a higher belt tournament gotcha. type turnout so. well, that's cool that at, at any tournament you go to people can step up like that so this time it got to be morgan and that's cool and the fact, i like that she it's always her i mean look what she did at the one tournament she puked on there ready for any kid that needed some new pre-workout. Exactly. If you, you know, want to try pre-workout but don't want to pay for it, here you go. It's she right on the map for you. it back. Just lap that up. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to live that shit down, Ugh. by the way, Morgan. Ugh. It's Ugh. horrible. And I also heard uh, what, uh, Ben was there. If you guys didn't listen to the Ben Graff show interview, he was there and there was adults that walked through that <laughs> yep. pre-workout also. just walking through that shit <laughs> left and right. <laughs> I thought that was really funny because, you yeah, know, 
I what a coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> and I was that, like, yeah, that, I've that, seen that happen. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's that's really a coincidence. I like that. It's really awkward that you touched her shoulder. Morgan probably didn't like you. <laughs> don't touch her. Like, don't touch me. I'm a ginger. But I'm proud of you. I don't know who, who was that. Which who put what person was that in the in the story? Was that Ben or was that Morgan? That's proud of you. Ben. Okay. Yeah. Just he, want to make he, sure he was proud because I was lost. Somebody let it all out on the map. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> she didn't shit herself. So positive. I wonder how many times that happens. How many people do you think shit themselves in jujitsu? I think it's pretty often. You think like, so? Not often, dude. If you <laughs> shit the wrong word, if you ever shit yourself in a competition, it please, may have happened. Please write saying. into the show. <laughs> I want to read that email. We, it can be anonymous, but my god, I want to hear that story. Like, hey, just doing a jujitsu match. Shouldn't have had those tacos. But seriously, what? Is it somebody ate the wrong thing. And got neon belly by Crowther. Oh God! You know what I mean? Could like, you imagine? And there's fuck. nothing you can do about it. It just gets known? shoved right out. Yeah, it's, oh. it's no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I don't want it to happen to me, but I, I want to hear about it. That's and all. you'll notice that, like, I'll make fun of his wrist locks for some reason. I'm okay with losing that motor function, but not neon belly. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. That's a good one. I know that's good. Don't show me. Yeah. <laughs> ever. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, luckily everybody at our school is pretty cool with the neon belly. They'll put it on I, you, but yeah, they're, they're not going to do no. it like you're supposed to. Oh, Chad's done it to me for funsies. Yeah, a little bit? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, not yeah. not fully, but you can tell because, you know, it's me. Yeah. So why wouldn't you do that? I've seen thing? him do it on Justin, and it made Justin wince, wince bad. bad. So I'm like, yeah. he doesn't do that to me. Thank no, you. No, he's never done it full steam on me, so no. I really don't know. But he's definitely pulled I, up yeah, on it. I'm like, I, oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't need a full steam neon belly from anybody, let alone Chatter. God forbid, Croiler. Oh, my God. Oh, negative Ghost no. Rider. Oh, jeez. No comes out a lot when he's <laughs> when a Croiler comes up like, nope, nope, don't want that to happen. No. Nope. I'm a, uh, oh, we have our private with him coming up. Oh, we do. I'm so yeah. looking forward to that. That's yeah. uh, going to be Saturday. Yep. So, so we'll have, we'll be able to talk about that next week. I really hope he has better luck driving up here than we had driving down there. Good luck, Croiler. Oh, my gosh. Do- Bob and Weave, dude. Bob and Weave. Right. Those fuckers come out of nowhere. <laughs> were- so people kept on mentioning that it's a good thing that I didn't oh, um, see the deer coming. Yes. Because I would have inevitably been stupid and hit a tree rather than the deer, right? <laughs> so, okay, okay. Oh, there's an overpass. Yeah. Run okay. into that. Okay. I'm, I'm inept with paperwork and calling stuff. I get it. I get it. But I don't. Okay. I- I'm lying. I got a good story because, of course, I do. So it is I, a good it is I, a good I, thing. I, I didn't didn't ask for a story. Oh, you're getting a story. I didn't ask for you're one. You're getting a story. It's just a mini story. Did anyone just, else ask for a story? It's a small story. Everyone in this room doesn't want to hear a story. A small story. This so, is me. <laughs> so they're right when they're saying it's a good thing you didn't see it. Okay. And I would like to say, no, nah, I know what to do. And hit a deer, you you center punch it, blah blah blah. Nope. I would have slammed on the gat or the brakes and turned the wheel sideways. And you know how I know I would do that? <laughs> no. Because I've done that <laughs> with ducks. Oh, my God. That's with right. Ducks. That's right. I was going to work, and it was a little slippery outside, and I was in a whole line of cars, and I was the, um, not the, yeah, I was in the front of the pack. So I seen the ducks crossing, but it was kind of too late to just hit the brakes and miss them. Yes. So I hit the brakes and swerved. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, what <laughs> but it was ducks, it dude. was literally it was a daddy, it was a mommy, and it was a line of baby ducks. I'm not shitting you. And <laughs> I, I get it. I didn't want to hit the fucking family of ducks, man. So like I said, <laughs> slammed on the brakes, swerved my car. I tried to just juke around him a little bit. Except I went sideways and just started spinning out <laughs> into oncoming traffic. Now luckily they had plenty of room to stop for me. But all the cars behind me, yeah, they plowed over that family of ducks. Unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't matter. It didn't matter. So I tried to kill myself You're to avoid that this guy. <laughs> You're the guy people are driving by like, what, what the, the fuck <laughs> were you thinking? So, yeah, when you see cars like up on the side of the curb, like wrapped around a pole, probably not drunk, probably Paul trying to avoid <laughs> a, a, an animal of it was, any type. It was a hedgehog. I couldn't hit that baby hedgehog. <laughs> it was a skunk someone had rolled uh, over the night before. I so, couldn't hit that again. Oh, no, it's a, yeah, yeah, I, I'd swear for a skunk too. <laughs> I'm not hitting a skunk. I ain't smelling like that. <laughs> so you it's would an adorable bod- baby skunk. Bodily harm or smell. 
you go with bodily not, harm. Not I only, like it. Not I only like did, it. Not only did I risk my own bodily harm, but everybody else yes, on the did. road <laughs> to save a family of ducks. You selfish bastard. Oh my God, I suck. <laughs> I really suck. That's really funny. Uh, so yeah, it's a good thing that deer uh, didn't allow me the chance to see it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh, that's flipping hilarious. Yeah, I used to When you wrote down a note to yourself of ducks for something to talk about, didn't have high expectations. No. Nope. You well overshot those expectations. <laughs> what do you want to talk about on the show? Ducks. Uh, I have a duck story. <laughs> like you have a duck story. I have a jiu-jitsu <laughs> podcast. Well, it it does nothing to do with jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it does, it. though, because you brought it back to when we crushed a deer yeah. la- uh, two weekends, Maybe last you can, weekend. Maybe you can bring it up, like, uh, make an analogy, like, be prepared. Like, if you know what you're doing. And you, what, and you, be prepared, <laughs> don't hit ducks? Well, yeah, right? <laughs> so what you got to do is you got to aim for them. <laughs> yeah. Deliberately, oh, so get it's a couple actually, that way. You're dead into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a become maybe, dead to killing things. May, maybe if you, you know, I, I'm not a hunter. Maybe if I was a hunter, I'd be like, eh, they're gonna die today. But <laughs> no, I've never shot a thing, so it's it didn't work out well in my favor. Bye bye, duck. Yeah. Welcome, <clears throat> duck a la range. <laughs> hey, I like good analogies. You know, it's kind of like I had a good one the other day. It was okay. It was it was a half analogy. It was like made up off the top of my head. With yeah, the, we were just sitting at dinner. Yeah, it was good. Well, not dinner. It was half good. Yeah, it was. It was good. It was. It was the start of being. Good. It was. I think it could be cleaned up. Like I think if yes. Croiler Gracie got a hold of this analogy, like he could make it the shit. Oh yeah, like on the spot, be like, hey, here's the analogy I started on. No, actually, he was just going. No, it's stupid. <laughs> Damn. Well, we tried. I don't think it's totally stupid. No, I don't think so at all. Yeah, but no, I, yeah. I told you to run with it. Yeah, you just ran to. the wrong direction. I but, did. You know, I did. Whatever. I, I got scared. I'm like, oh, this is good. I'm going to ruin it somehow. <laughs> and he did. Right. So we were talking about being flaily in jiu-jitsu. Yes. And when you're rolling with certain people and they're just all over the place, they're poking you in the lips or hitting you in the eye, you know, they're, they're elbowing you like, oh, man, you're not really doing jiu-jitsu. <laughs> no. So if, if you're rolling with somebody and they're amping it up and you're, you're getting after it and you start to flail <laughs> you're you're learning bad habits like you're yes you're you're setting your you're not learning right. is what you're doing yeah you're you're yeah you're doing you're learning bad habits so yes. just just work with the techniques that you have even if that means you lose so you get whatever you, you just, just do the stuff that you know even if that means you lose because if you're just wrestling and and fighting and you're not using jiu-jitsu it's it's a little bit pointless for what we're trying to learn here. So I tried to equate that with driving a race car. So if, if you put me in an Indy car that Mario Andretti uses. And ducks on the track. And ducks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bringing it back around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Like, look, he can, he can go around that track in, say, two minutes. I can't. I don't. I don't have the. You have the exact same equipment, ex- same same thing. Right. Can't do it. Can't do it. So all I'm going to do is hurt myself and hurt other people because I don't have the skill set to use to ramp it up. So when you're flailing, you're doing exactly that. You're taking a car that you have no business driving and driving it way too fast for your ability, and that's how people get hurt. Yeah. So yeah, if you're if you're trying to race your car. And you don't have the skill set, know how, the experience to do it. Going you, faster than your ability. You're going to wreck your shit and you're going to wreck other people's shit. Jiu-Jitsu is the same thing, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I actually agreed with this. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you're trying to ramp shit up past your own current ability, you're going to get yourself hurt and you're going to hurt other people. So just relax, take the tap, and learn from it. And don't force. Yeah. Because that's a big part of it is, is you're trying to force things you don't even know what you're doing. Right. And I, I've done it. That's how I know why I did it. Well, it's interesting because, you know, I'm over eight years in jiu-jitsu. Well, let's say four years cumulative. Commu- how do you cumulative? Communi- so you're doing community oh, service. Oh, God. <laughs> can you just say that word for me so we can move on? Cumulative. Cumulative. There you go. Oh, my God. That's, See how that's I said as, it wrong that, and slow and you that, got it? That's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. No, it's not. I should practice that Hooked word. on phonics. Didn't yeah. work for Paul. So let's say I got four years. Com- <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> cumulative. <laughs> this dude. Cumulative has four oh years. Oh, God. 
and I still. So if I'm rolling with somebody like Croiler or Chad or Justin or Jesse, you people that have more ability than me, and if I just start ramping it up, I'm going to hurt myself and possibly hurt them. None of which I want to do. Yeah. But it's also difficult not to because your fight or flight kind of kicks in and you have to deaden that shit. you got to practice not racing your car as fast as you can or above your ability. Or at least be more aware of it. Right. Right? Yeah. So I always try to be a technical role, even if that means that you don't win anymore for a while. And you won't. Yeah, it sucks. Because it, 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 it does. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, it, do, it does. Because and I like winning. I don't I don't like to tap. I, But I, you can't mind. No. And it, no. Hmm. The best way for me when I was doing what you told me to do was just work on my defense. Don't don't get don't get wrapped up in trying to do things you can't really accomplish anyways. Yeah. And I went away from trying to do, you know, scarf chokes and cross collar chokes and all those things that you learn right at the beginning that you can pull off on people sometimes. <laughs> and you know, and you feel good about yourself. So when I stopped doing that, it got really hard to roll because I, I just had to defend myself and I'll get in a bad position. I still didn't like it. And it took a while to be to the point of, yeah, I'm good with this guy smashing my face into the mat. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, it'll stop. You know, I've framed up okay so I can breathe. There you go. And it's, you know, and I know how to retain. It got better at retaining my guard so I didn't get in those positions yeah. as much. And now now that I feel a little bit more comfortable as a white belt. I, uh, I I feel like I can I can start to learn some attacks. Start right, <laughs> <laughs> not not accomplish any of yeah. them. Start. Well, it's interesting because if you're bigger and stronger phys- physically than somebody, <clears throat> you can you can push them around, but it's not jujitsu. You know, you're not you're not doing it with any technique whatsoever. And if you're just laying on them and using strength and weight, you're not helping yourself. You're not helping them. And that's when people get hurt. You're, you're yeah. just smashing. Yeah, but very if you, true. But if you can do things with the proper technique, people don't tend to get hurt. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it's just getting to – it's it's so hard, dude, to just – Oh, it is. Because you want to have so much fun in jiu-jitsu and you start rolling and people are like, oh, this is how you do this choke. And this is how you do that yeah. choke. Oh, check out this cool wrist lock that this bitch showed me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It wasn't even me this time. <laughs> oh, Holy shit. Oh. Dude, he's coming up in a couple of days. It's not him. Six days. It's not him because uh. he never showed me any wrist locks. Oh, no. So I was just kidding. I love you. Oh, oh God. It's going to be bad. At least we're close to home. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, close I, to home this I, time. I know where the local med center is <laughs> exactly. in my area. Yeah. I know where it's covered by my insurance. No, but yeah, it's 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 hard. God, but, how bad would that suck if we went down to, to Croilers? Both got broken wrists and then hit the deer on the way back. Oh. I, it would be almost worth it because oh, I got to go wound. to Croilers. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to go there. Right. I was so depressed that we didn't get to go yeah, there. I felt the worst about that than anything. I'm like, oh, gee, I was looking forward to that so much. It was I'm just like, that oh, one other, that was that step outside your norm. You yeah. Know? I just clapped. Wow. Yeah, good job. You couldn't hear it. It's yeah. behind my mic, but but yeah, I don't do that stuff. I just I'm yeah. not the guy that travels for this stuff. You know, I'm not. You know, Morgan. She goes all, all over the place, and she's you know she's oh, yeah. this. You know, oh yeah, turn here, people. turn yeah. there. Women's weekend. That's cool that they do it. By the way, yeah, well, yeah. did a whole weekend of jujitsu with like thirty women. It was awesome. I told my wife she has to go next time. Oh, that'd be fun for her. Hell yes, that would be so much yeah. learning experience. There's so many. There's blue belts, purple belts, high belts are awesome. All yeah. the way down to blue belts, white belts that just started. Awesome. That's cool. But yeah, I'm just not that. I'm just not that guy. I don't want to compete. I don't travel. I don't travel yeah. a whole lot. I'm all about that dad life. Yeah, same here. Ish. Ish. Yeah, well, kind of. I would go down to Crowlers. I've been wanting to go down to Crowlers but, for a long. But yeah, time. that was fun. I was looking forward to that because, like you said, outside of our comfort zone, doing something new. And that fucking deer that ruined fucking everything. Bastard. Still I, mad about that. I've named him Ralph. We annihilated. We annihilated Ralph. <laughs> well, Ralph but Ralph is, is a son of a bitch. So Deer is a son of a bitch. It just doesn't have the same ring to it. But, but Ralph, Ralph, Ralph is a son yeah. of a bitch. People will remember that shit. Good name, Ed. No, fuck. <laughs> Ed's taking enough abuse. <laughs> we love Ed. He's fun. He's, he took it well. He did. <laughs> he took it well. Still an asshole. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah. he took it well. Did Did you see that he tried to go to an open mat again without a gi? Yeah, I saw that online. I almost reached through Facebook and slapped oh, yeah. him in the face. 
Yeah, I, I actually had three things typed all up before I hit delete. Yeah, like, I did uh, too. <laughs> I was typing shit. I'm like, ah, oh! no, I gotta let it go. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard to read shit off social media, like like text, like too many text fights, man. Like, man, because you don't get the nuance, you know. If no, you, see, you got to be like me. Just always an a, asshole. Add a so smi- you add, just everyone. Yeah, add a, add a smiley, smiley face. face. <laughs> that fixes it. <laughs> I can say the meanest shit ever. Smiley face. See, yeah. All better. Hey, you're a big ass tool. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, funny. Hey, when you roll, you're an asshole. Cry, smiley face. <laughs> and yeah. and it, uh, have you noticed, like, the ruder it is, the more mm. smiley faces it gets. It's like, ooh, it's kind of mean. Yeah. There's four of them. Take four smiley faces. It's all good. Well, that's my go-to for you. Like, I will say the meanest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> Still best friends? No hate you. Smiley faces. <laughs> Smiley faces. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, what were we talking uh, about just actually before the show started with uh, white belts? Oh, the in-depth conversation we were wasting on no one but ourselves? Yeah, we should have just hit record. We earlier. really should. So yeah, now or, we got we to relive that magic now. Good luck. Oh, man. It's a good conversation. It I was. I don't think and we I, got it. You know, and we have different, we have opposing opinions about oh, it we, also. We, we disagreed vehemently with also understanding, I think, where the other person's coming from. Because we, we, we grew up differently. So you grew up oh, yeah. in all about sports and coaching and all that. And I went. Yeah, I've been yeah, a coach for Christ's yeah. sake. I went the opposite route. Uh, Jiu Jitsu's in martial arts, the only thing I know. You know, I've never been in sports. I've never coached a sport. My kids really aren't into sports. We do Jiu Jitsu. So, but your kids could be, though. Yeah, yeah. Are and, and they, they probably will. Yeah, I, I think you're not. No, they are. No. If somebody ever asked me to be a coach, I'm just going to laugh so hard. You should. We should see if she wants to do soccer with my daughter in the fall, in the spring. No. Yes. No. Yes. It's outside and it's cold and rainy. I want to see if she wants to do volleyball and basketball. Can you coach that? You're, well, yeah, I know basketball. Perfect. Just, see, oh, it's settled. Bitch. Go, it's settled. Keep going. I forgot where I was going at. I tangent. No, you weren't. I forgot. No, no I tangented oh. and you followed. So the. Uh, the the gist is is he's from one world and I'm from a whole different world. So the things that bother him are the thing that that's just normal to me. Or no, it's not even the things that bother me. It was more me playing devil's advocate. Oh, fair enough. Because because the things really didn't bother me because I understand and the culture that I went into yeah. a little bit because I got to watch it with my daughters for a few months before, which isn't a long time, but it's enough to realize when people say a certain term, it's not derogatory. It's just. How it's said. Right. So, this yep. will make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, when... Jiu-Jitsu is a weird animal because it's not like typically another sport where you learn how to shoot a ball or kick a ball or throw a punch. There's so much to it, and that's what makes it great. So, the, the, the thing that's best about Jiu-Jitsu is that you can never stop learning. The thing that's worst about Jiu-Jitsu is the fact that you can never, never stop, stop learning. learning. So yeah, you always kind of feel dumb in comparison, especially when you first start and nothing comes together right. Because in every class, you get to see a move, try it 10 times each on a partner, then see another move, then try it 10 tiny times each on a partner. And then next week, you'll see different moves or, and try it 10 times. Or the same ones again. Right. But, but still, even, but even then. It, it takes hundreds upon yeah. hundreds of times trying a move to right. get it down. Because each technique, like we were discussing, if if I show you how to throw a right hook, I can, you can have that down in... Properly, it doesn't take very long. No. You just have to have your footing right, your hip turns, yeah. your shoulder turns. Yeah, it's, if it's you can not... Get it, it's, let's just say you can get it down in a week. We'll yeah. just We'll just say yes, one just week. Just for the and then, sake cool, of you, you practice every day, one hook for a week, cool, you got it. And watch all these yeah, boxing people it. start making posts on us. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Maybe they can email us at <laughs> the dads at <laughs> grapplingdads.com. You are struggling <laughs> for that. We're getting messages on everything else, but this dude's complaining that we don't get an email. <laughs> I just want one email, people. <laughs> come one email, on. give it to me. I love the social media comments, but come on. We got this email for nothing. <laughs> nothing. So oh. so let's say you learn a basic arm bar from mount. So you you get in mount, and then you have to have the proper pressure in mount to hold the mount. Then you have to put your hand. Let's say you're going to do a hand in the collar, so you're going for a cross-collar choke. You're going to transition into an arm bar. So then you got to put your correct hand placement, then the correct pressure on the neck, and then you have to slide your, or put your hand forward, and then keep the correct pressure, and then you got to slide a knee up. So every single part of this move, there's 
there's nuances nuance. yeah, to exactly. every little bit of it. And it just keeps going and going for one single move. Yeah, which if they defend, you need to do another move right. that has more so, nuances. So, so all this nuance is for a person just laying there going, yeah, it feels pretty good. And then every time you watch a move in class and you think you have it, if you've ever done jiu-jitsu, you don't. Well, you don't. <laughs> if it's the first time you've seen some shit, you don't have it. You're like, oh, yeah, that looks easy. I can do it. Then you'll get your partner and you'll go, what the fuck did he what? just do? <laughs> you clap here. One, two, three, clap. And that clap means, I forgot it. Done. It's gone. <laughs> uh, what's that Men in Black thing where they just zap you with that light and you lose your memory for the last 15 minutes? Oh, yeah. It's like that. You yeah. clap your hands, memory's gone. It's erased. So it's just that kind of a sport where... It's really, really hard. And there's so much to it. You, and there's so much to every single move. So you feel like you're not making any, any headway or progress. But then, Correct. But then let's say you're, you're a white belt, you're six months in, you're feeling like shit because you just keep on getting your ass kicked. Not fun. What doesn't help is if uh, blue, purple, brown, black says, eh, you're supposed to suck. No, it, they don't say that, though. They they don't even say that. They say, oh, you're a white belt. And the way I the, my argument was is that that's going to make a lot of people, especially people, that, in my opinion, that came up in sports, feel like shit. Like, you're the worst. You, <laughs> you're the worst at this because you're supposed to be the worst at this. Well, I'm working really hard. I've been doing this six months. Well... You're a white belt. Well, that hurts. <laughs> you know, it's it's almost counterintuitive to me. Right. It really is. It's. I grew up in a thing. I had a German soccer coach. He just yelled at me. That was it. Just yelled at me to do shit. But he was also the first person when I fucked up, he would hug me. You know, give me that encouragement. Are like, you saying you want me to hug you, Kip? You hug me. I'm punching you. I'm hugging you. Square in the throat. I'll, I'll take that. You're getting a hug, kid. That's so worth it. <laughs> so worth it. We need to get somebody to photo this. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be like a few action shots. The hug goes, then the punch of the throat goes. Uh, nice. Probably some Paul vomiting. Crum- Paul crumples to the ground, spits <laughs> up his pre-workout. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I slip on it. Yeah. So it's... But what do you think? Because we, we had this long conversation about that, and you still didn't believe me that that was really... No. See, to me, it's... It's just the way it is. It's, it's kind of how I grew up in the sport. Like, yeah, you're white belt. You're supposed to suck. It's just put in the mat time. But, you'll eventually get better. It just takes time. But doesn't that doesn't that seem like that would be defeating to someone? Kind of, yeah. Can't you see that? Like, that I guess I'm working it, my ass off for six months, and yes, I understand that this is really hard. I'm just talking to someone else because I, I really do understand why people say it mm-hmm. now that I've been doing it a, a little over a year. I get it now. Right. But- Speaking for others and looking at it, it's it's basically, it feels like you're being talked down to, even after you've been doing it a year, because it takes, what, a year and a half, two years minimum to get your freaking blue belt? Yeah, yeah right? typically it takes about a year and a half, two yeah, years. Yeah, two years. So, that's pretty freaking, I don't want to take that nut kick every freaking week for two years. Well, I, I kind of feel like I, I get the same nut kick as a blue belt. Cause I'll roll. Whoa, 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 how? Well, I'll well, I'll roll with Chad, and he'll just make me look stupid if he wants to. What does he say? Does he ever say you're just a blue belt? No, he does not. I'm gonna answer that for you. He does not. The only phrase that comes up in is when you're a white belt. Oh, he's just a white belt. Don't worry about it. Oh, what? But I'm working hard. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. I don't know. I just never seen a problem with it. Um, Do you? I see. Do you see my point? I I see your point. Uh, perhaps it can be uh, more helpful in the fact that rather than you're just a white belt, say you need to work on X, you know, eh. Y or Z. Eh. Well, that way it's constructive. Like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, not, yeah. You're not, well, you're, you're not expected. At- you're not expected to be good as a white belt. What you're expected to do is you know, we're, we're showing you a lot of moves, and I under, and everybody understands that that you just get move upon move upon move, and when you're new, you don't get a chance to be good at any of them because you just haven't had enough time to drill a certain amount of moves enough to be adequate. And and it is expected. Like, yeah, you're a white belt. What do you expect? Like, you're not going to be good in a year. And you're not. It's it's a thing. 
But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm really good yeah, at yeah. this. You're so good, Kip. Oh my god, I'm so yeah. horrible. Yeah. Every time we roll, I think to myself, "Oh shit, I'm gonna have to trade belts." Oh shit, with him. here comes that white belt. That dude's a bad. No, no, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I couldn't even get through it. Yeah. Not even a second of that statement. But, but whatever. But I, I think learning learning shit is hard, man. And you gotta. You but gotta, learning sports is hard. Like, yeah, there aren't as many nuances, but there's right. a lot of nuances. Like, I was a soccer player. That was the biggest thing I did. I was a soccer coach. It took me a long, like, a lifetime to figure out a lot of what, and there was more to learn, you know? And, and not as much as jiu-jitsu. No. I was going to say, that doesn't make any sense. Not even fucking close. Like, like, look, I, I don't do sports, but I would say that there's a hundred of times more to learn in jiu-jitsu than soccer, basketball, football. Maybe not football's hard because they got a lot of plays and shit, but... They all do, you dumbass. Do they really? Yes, you Dumbass. I mean, just like you are so throwing, uneducated just about sports. Throwing balls around, man. But there, it's not. Why do you think there's pros in it? If it was just throwing a fucking ball around or jumping around the pros with a ball. take steroids and they can throw harder and faster. It's more fun to watch. No. Allegedly. I don't watch that shit. I know. Boring. I don't really watch all that God, much anymore. Boring. It is not boring if you know what's going on, but nope. you're so educated that you don't. Uh, yeah, you don't care to be, so it really doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah. But eh, I don't watch basketball either, but... I you know what I can't it. take about basketball? The damn squeaking. Squeak. Like the squeaking shoes. From the I, shoes? Oh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, How can people watch bad. that? I don't know. And it's really loud. And then and then football, like something will happen for three seconds and then whistles and flags and they start over. I don't get it, dude. That's boring. There's there four hours of people getting ready to do shit and like 30 seconds of people can doing we, shit. Can, can we go back to, you know... No, I'm what we were talking about <laughs> and get away from your utter hatred of mainstream sports. <laughs> so Holy boring. shit, you're stupid. Oh, God. Yeah, go ahead. Lo- make, just make your point. You're like, boy. oh, where's the minority? <laughs> I'm running to it. I'm Paul. <laughs> Fuck you. People like sports. I like sports, dickhead. Yeah. Well, enjoy that boringness. <laughs> Rugby, though. That's fun to watch. That's just fucking stupid. Rugby's awesome. It is violent. Dude, Stop. You tangent me. Sorry. It's, it's fun. I, I watched rugby, women's rugby in the Olympics. It just came on. I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. <laughs> Flags are going. Whistles are blowing. They didn't give a shit. They just kept on doing their thing. I'm like, oh. They only stopped to get in a bigger scrum. <laughs> oh, I don't know what a scrum is, but it was awesome. All those people around the ball. Yeah. Pushing and pushing back and forth, trying to get the ball when it's in the middle. They were That's trying. Scrum. To, they were trying to murder each other over Fuck that yeah, ball. Fuck yeah, they do. It was great. Yeah, it's great. Anyways. Anyway, go ahead. So, where were we going with that? I don't know. Where were we at? Yeah, no, it was your tangent. You went on into sports for some shit. Sure. Like, how no, much I mean, you hated I mean, sports? Yeah, you, you went on the, I think people so, should be nicer uh, to me for being a white belt. <laughs> no, I, nobody should be nicer to me. Well, not you, you have all Everyone yeah. in, the, you're saying, all you're, our you're, fans you're, have heard me. Yeah. I'm not deserving of niceness. You're, you're talking about, like, uh, as a whole. As a, like, yes. As a, as, a, as a community. Exactly. Yeah. As a whole, it just seems for a, a sport that has trouble retaining participants. Um, which is fucking stupid because it's awesome. It just seems to me that you would want to be more encouraging, like just straight out, not around the, you know, because they think that's encouraging to tell someone that you're a white belt, like don't worry about it. That's not encouraging, though. That is almost kind of sending. Because right, that's my that's my go-to. Because, you know, I would tell you it's and a lot of people. It's your go-to. <laughs> well, it is. It's, you know, it's my go-to. So I, I tell people, like, because they'll be frustrated that they can't do anything. Like, I'm getting murdered. I'm getting, you know, getting all this. I'm like, yeah, you're a white belt. Like, you just put in the time, keep practicing, and pretty soon you'll be doing that to other white belts. It's just, that's how it goes. Is that how it's said, though? How you just said it? Is that ever that, uttered in the gym like that? That's how I say it. No, it isn't. How do I say it? You were condescending kind of towards. Well, uh, see, I'm, really? I'm, I'm jaded because you did it to me on purpose, bro. Well, I do it to you because it's you. But how yes, do I, how do I don't I, know. Yeah. I haven't heard you say yeah. it to other people. Exactly. So you've said it to me very condescendingly. Well, you, you bring that out of me. I know. I fucking deserve <laughs> it. So, but you can't deny that it would make you feel like shit if you were doing anything but jujitsu if someone came up to you and said, You're supposed to suck at this. That doesn't feel good. It feel, might feel all right when you're first starting. But yeah, it does. Because you're like, oh, I'm supposed to suck. This is really hard. Six months of doing something? Yes. Is not, is a mind, ugh, God, minuscule amount of time for jujitsu. Minuscule amount of time for yeah. jujitsu. Yeah, for what you get but, out of six months, you're, oof. But it's six months out of my life that I spent, let's say, two, three days a week coming every time, every time to have somebody go, 
yeah, you're supposed to suck. Yeah. Because well, that's what they're saying. You're supposed to suck. So I think what we do is we compare... We can. <laughs> Ow! That table jumped out and bit me. We we compare you with other people that do jujitsu. Like if I compare you to people that don't do jujitsu, after six months, you don't suck anymore. You don't. You don't. <laughs> you, though. You, exactly. you don't. You've worked hard to to right. not. So if you, you if you take, I think Croyler actually said this. If you could kick your own ass six months ago, then you're doing excellent. That, so yeah, you exactly. got to you got to compare yourself to yourself. I think he probably said it the best. If you, because you, people are just different. Some people learn it quicker. Some people have better body types. For Everybody's it. Some people different. are stronger, yeah. younger, more fit. They you know they've they've done wrestling. So the same six months is going to treat people differently. But if you could kick your own ass, that's your that's your progress. Like you should be happy about that. So if I think it was focused that way, like are you better than you were six months ago? Like, could you beat that dude's ass? If the answer is yes, then you are on a good path. But when everybody's learning at at least a similar rate, like let's say everybody on average goes there twice a week. Yeah, okay. And you go there twice a week, everybody goes there twice a week, and you're like, dude, the same people that were kicking my ass six months ago are still kicking my ass. I'm not getting any better. Well, yes, you are. It's just that everybody's... Progressing with you. Progressing. Yeah. But, so people don't look at the fact that what could you do to yourself six months prior? Yeah, you'd roll them up into a little pretzel, but we don't focus on that. No, we focus on that you're just starting this. Yeah. That sucks. So you don't you don't. If feel you want a, people to come back, you know, I think I gave you the soccer analogy, which I hate because they do. Because it's you know, soccer and soccer's yeah. stupid. <sighs> you're such an <laughs> asshole. Just because you're not coordinated enough to throw or kick a ball, or you catch. don't have to don't take. Don't forget yeah, catch. No catching. <laughs> you can't. Like I worry when I throw you the keys. You're Don't like, you oh that. shit, <laughs> dude! You th- you threw me some uh, s- uh, a thing of cheese today. <laughs> I almost <laughs> ate it. Uh, <laughs> like you know, one, two, three, throw it. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, it's coming. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the pr- the problem that I have with that mentality is don't look at the clock. I didn't. It's not your bedtime look yet. At my little monkey up there. No, you didn't. You lying sack of shit. Yeah, asshole. <laughs> uh, but I just can't stress it enough that it 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 made me feel occasionally, and I knew better that I wasn't being respected for all the work that I had done. And there's you know there's a lot of work done. You know I went two days a week for six months. Yeah, that's, for a job that ain't shit. But <laughs> for, <laughs> some, for something that I'm like put, putting my money into putting my time in to get there because it's not just two hours a week it's like four hours a week a, a day just trying to get it done because i got to get my kids one place or you know i have to drive there whatever it is it's not just class oh well, yeah plus you know we it, talk about it we we send each other videos on it we we practice on the side if we're all the time yeah yeah that's what we do and yeah, to go, geez, I just don't feel like I'm getting any better. And people going, yeah, you're fucking yeah, belt. <laughs> you're not supposed to. Guess what? That fucking sucks. Yeah, well, I I get it. Just keep coming. I get. It. Well, so that doesn't help me. <laughs> so, what? Well, it, but it does. It does though. It totally does. <laughs> I, I I think I think after you're there for three years, you'll go, holy shit. We, you, oh we, no! We, even you, after even like a little after a year, I started to feel like, oh oh, I do still suck. Yeah. But now I understand why. <laughs> I, I, I think if you're going two or three days a week and you get to the one year point and then new people come in yeah. and then you roll with the new people, it's at that point after that first year you go, oh, but you're not there in three months. You're not there in six months. You're starting to make the transition at nine months. But about a year in, you get those new people and they're asking you, how do you do that? Yeah, and like you're it's like, fucking magic. Yeah, so it is. It's like magic. And I think that's where people are getting at. Like if you just keep on coming, you'll you'll get to that point. And I think you've just started hitting that first milestone because you got you you're right there. You got that first milestone of hey, I can do fun shit, and people are asking me how I'm doing fun shit. Yeah. But when you have four years in, and you can really start to roll fun and really experiment, and have a good time, then you're like, oh. But it's it's kind of like diet, exercise, and a bodybuilding routine. Like you can't see the progress day by day. But you look at yourself from last year, like a before and after pick, after a year, it's like, holy crap, I yeah, made a lot of Yeah, look where progress. I started, look where I am. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I agree, it's the, it's the verbiage on the way there as as fellow uh, coaches and fellow 
uh, trainer training partners telling people that no you're supposed to suck or, well and it's even worse though it could well yeah you're, i don't like the whole you're just a white belt phrase you're just a white belt because you know that's how it's said yeah it's, it's a it's lot of times that, yeah. that's how it's said yeah i agree you're just a white belt what would you how would you condescending prefer? is that it, it's a bit i guess i guess because i'm by the you, way totally said it a bunch of times <laughs> did you really <laughs> and i'm white belt <laughs> And what I, it's like, I hear it coming out of my mouth yeah. and I fix it immediately. I'm like, what the fuck did I just say? So I, I, I think you're right. Hearing this, I can see your point. It sounds very condescending. It's not, but it's I, really I, not. But, it's, but I don't think it's ever meant condescending. It's never meant con- no. Well, no, I bet it is meant condescending. Well, maybe so. Oh God! If, if you mean that kind of sending, you're a dick. Yeah, there's so nobody in our yeah. school that do that shit. If, if you say for it, sure, if you say it in a non, no, absolutely not. But if you say it in a non condescending way how do you say uh, well you're okay just so, white belt right hey, you got to send no because it's a thing so i can i can look at you and say you are a white belt yeah well when i say you're just a white belt i mean you're a white belt that's that's your level like that's what you get that's you insert ju- you insert shirt insert insert would be the word Good thank you insert. the insert just into almost any sentence it's it's gonna come off condescending or that's fair you know Oh, what's that worth? Eh, that's just a dollar. You're worth just a dollar. Okay. What, you know what I mean? No, I, I get your point. Like, I I don't know. I, you I, hate I, this point. I know you do. I Well, I don't hate it. It's, I it's, love the it's, word hate. I need to stop it's that. An, it's, a new, it's a new paradigm shit for me because, to your point, I want to retain people that come in. Exactly. And if, if they're going to leave because I'm saying shit like, oh, you're just a white belt, you're supposed to suck, while I think that's true... I don't mean it to be condescending. Yeah, and I don't. No one does. Yeah, I, so, I mean, in our so, school, no right. one does. No. and we retain pretty well now. Yeah. I mean, we really do. We we get our guys in, and even if they don't come all the time, they pop in. They right. do a morning class. It's pretty great. But that's because of the culture that <clears throat> Chad's built. Yeah, along with Coraler. Coraler's is yeah. very very similar. <clears throat> yeah, I I love the culture we have. It's, it's yeah, it's and I'm great. just I'm literally just doing this devil advocate. Everyone's yeah. gonna think I'm being all butt hurt, huh. which I uh, will tell hurt. you I get butt hurt about stuff. Thanks a lot, Coley. And eh. but you want to know what? I, it's I'm not butt hurt by any of this. I, I I was coached by a German. Literally, this guy, Coach Stoodle, was a big old German dude with a beard. I got I was playing indoor soccer, so it's basically on a, a ice rink, oh. like a. Hockey please, rink? Please tell me I had ice on it when you did this. Yeah, because that makes sense. Just cleats to be fine. No, you... You <laughs> <laughs> so, At least but, make it fun. But anyways, I got literally cross-checked into the penalty box, flipped into it. This dude just looked into the box and goes, get out. Wow. <laughs> I was in pain. Get out. So I'm used to, you know, and he would tell me everything that I was horrible. I did this wrong, did that wrong. But guess who was the first dude when I fucked up to come give me a hug because I was a kid and I cried? Guess what? It was him every nice. single time. And I would I would play my ass off for that kid, that guy every time. And I, I my skill level went up leaps and bounds, I'm sure, because, I, you know, he was the first coach. I was just like, no, you're good. Act like you're good, you know, and you'll get better. You can Fair get enough. You can get better. So that's 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 the mentality I want. I, no, I want. I could. I think could help. You would. Is, you would want to encourage. Yes, the so encouragement you, you would, you saying you change. can get better. You will get better. Okay. It's you just not, change the verbiage. You suck. Yeah. It's you will get better. You just change the verbiage between or from. You're just a white belt to. You're a white belt. Yeah, you'll get better. Here's the things you need to work. Or on. Or even yeah. leave the white belt in. You're a white belt. You'll get better. Yep. Don't worry about it. Yeah, fair. I don't think it's horrible. No. Yeah. Like I said, I want to. I want to keep that the white being belt. said. As hey. soon as I'm a blue belt, I'm calling everybody just a fucking white belt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> watch me. Pro tip. Oh yes. Pro tip. Go. Adopt a white belt because they can be your next best training partner. That's a good one. You did. You I did. Uh, you adopted. I me. adopted a white belt. I it, try to adopt all the white belts I can. I really. Wow. Really so I'm not love, special. You freaking prick. Oh, you're special. All right. But <laughs> <laughs> I like when people sign up for the sport. It it means a lot to me, and I know it can mean a lot to a lot of other people. It does too. It does to yeah. me too. Like I just, we have a a girl that hangs out with my daughter, and she is the neatest girl. She's eleven, doesn't look eleven. 
Um, she's as tall as all hell. And uh, she's a ginger. So Morgan would love her. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and she's just a really cool girl. Doesn't have the advantages that, you know, you and I have given our kids. And I really want to get her in jiu-jitsu. But I know her family can't afford it. Oh. And it's bugging the living shit out of me. Because I asked her when she was over this weekend. I go, hey, would you would you do jiu-jitsu? And she goes, yeah. I go, do you know what jiu-jitsu is? She goes, no. <laughs> But it sounds awesome. But Eddie talks about it so, like it's so much fun, and she loves it so much. Oh, that's cool. I would want to try it, and I was like, I'm gonna try to work that out. Not a clue how, but I'm gonna try to work that out because I'm just like you. I want to bring people, in, especially, right. especially women, especially girls that want that. You want what the heck is that? So, but for me, it's really important to have that for her. And every girl yeah. or woman. I hate saying girl because that sounds condescending, well, doesn't it? Well, young girls and women. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it sound condescending? I don't know. I don't, not I'm really. not trying to be. But no. um, it's it's really, it, it, I can't even say it any better. I, it's important to me to try to find a way to get her in there. Yeah. You know, and if I can, I don't know. But that's just, I don't want to bring it in and have her come into a culture that's negative, though. Because she's not going to know what she's doing. Right. You know, and they don't do that to the kids. You don't hear, you're just a white belt in the kids' class. Nope. Why is it in an adult class? Why is it there? Oh, you know what I heard of? Uh, I was listening to another podcast. It was actually uh, the BJJ Brick podcast. Good podcast. And they talked to a, <clears throat> he's got, <laughs> forgot the guy's name. He was a professional jujitsu coach, whatever. But he, he he's huge into the kids' class. And he wouldn't just try to throw a kid in the class and just kind of like have him become part of it he would actually have a class just for the new students okay a- and their family like whatever families bring them there to show them the benefits of jujitsu and give them basically a private class the benefits of it what it's good for a couple of different moves and what it's about so that they don't, don't just have to kind of figure it out on their way so i think that'd be kind of cool for yeah the it's kids. not a bad idea it's it's just interesting. I can't get past this point. I don't know why it's stuck in my head so badly right now, but it's like, it just dawned on me. I've never heard you're just a white belt in the kids' class. Not a one time that I've heard that. Not that I was listening for, but I, you know, I'm there enough. I would have heard it. Don't hear it. So why do you hear it when it's a brand new person trying it as an adult? I don't know. Maybe it's just part of the culture. Cause it's, we yeah, know that's it's, what we I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I want to encourage the kids, but if you're new here, you're a white belt and you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and you're supposed to suck. You're supposed to suck? Just do it. For right. a long time, you will suck. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. We need to stop also telling people you're going to suck at this for a long time. Totally true. Oh, yeah, exactly. Totally true. Yeah. Yeah. But stop telling them that because it's really defeating. Yeah, you, you, can, you can train two hours every day for a year and not really be that good. <laughs> yeah, Sorry about oh. your luck. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I tell you, man, it's funny because there's levels to this shit too, man. You got you got the uh, the Einsteins of jujitsu, if you will. It's like yeah, I, I can study and study and study. I'm not going to be nine. I don't have the genetics to be an Einstein. Yeah, I don't have the genetics to be Marcelo Garcia. Like I don't. Yeah. My mind and my body doesn't work that way. It never mm-hmm. will. So it doesn't matter how much I study. Somebody with that genetic makeup, if they do the same shit as me, they're just going to be leaps and bounds better uh, yeah but that's it's, life <laughs> it's it's that's uh to to put it in our favorite terms that's my journey that's my path and i gotta worry about the hat no that shit's banned <laughs> on the show you know that that shit is banned uh, on the show i wanted to make sure i brought that up just for you i fucking hate you right now oh you love you've it. ruined my life well good good we should end on that no, paul we can, we can name the show paul ruins kip's life no we shouldn't end on that no well, I think we can should. end on that actually. let's do that did i get my point across though yeah, I mean, your point is you're kind of a sissy about things, but it's cool. I think, yeah. Well, no, that's not my point because people already knew that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a given. So and The point but, is adopt a white belt. Be cool to them. You know, be be uh, understanding because this is hard and not everybody gets it. Let's, so try, let's help yeah, them out. It basically comes down to me yeah. is let's try a little, little yeah. more encouragement. Yeah. Give them something to work on. Get them something to work on. Show them the shit that you sucked at when you began. That's all I do because I'm not good at anything. So I'm like, look at this. I sucked really bad at this. I suck one level less right now. (laughs) You can too. I mean, I try to be encouraging. I mean, we'll do our basic uh, shrimp drills. 
and I'll try to really help people out, encourage them. Like, dude, you are so much better than that than I was. Which is true. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't lie because I hate that. Because <clears throat> oh, no, that no, comes no. across when yeah. you're like, oh, I sucked at that. But you're like, no, you didn't. Damn it. Yeah, I did. Well, was, yeah, there, there, yeah. Because I, I legitimately was terrible. Oh, yeah, so was I. I was lost. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I try to encourage them. Like, look, I know this is hard. I sucked worse than that, and I'm not terrible now. So then they can go, oh, okay, cool. I can aspire to, to do better than I am now. Exactly. It's possible. But let's, that's just, I would, I know I'm not changing a dang thing in this world uh, of jujitsu, and nor should I, but I got a little soapbox right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get up on it occasionally. And I would love to see more of it. I want to see more people feeling good about when they leave class, when they're brand new. Because you want to know what? Most of the time when you're getting into it, unless you're one of those badass wrestlers like Eddie, asshole. (laughs) Uh, you know, you can't come in and run and do all the drills and everything, then roll on top of it and stay there. It's yep. just, you get sick. You got to take your breaks, yep. watch out for yourself. So having people just tell you you're supposed to suck as you're wanting to vomit from freaking exhaustion, let's stop it. Let's freaking make people feel like you want them there because yep, you know, you want them there. We yeah. love having new people there. All of us do. Let's make people feel yeah. like it. Yeah, make the tribe better. Make it more like a family. Like, treat them like you treat your own kids. Yeah, and we unless do. you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, then don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, and then we'll fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a good show. Yeah, you got into a little deepness, a little, little deep water. Little deep you know, waters. I would, I, I would like to know other people's comments on that. Yeah, I mean, like if, I said, we 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 disagreed a bit. Like I, I had you a hard, still no, you still disagree with me. No, no, I I see your point. I. I don't see it as the kind of problem that you see it at, but I think I could be brought around. I really do. I could I could change my mind on that. All easy. Right. So I will, that's I will all I wanted. That. Yeah. Inspire thought. But I would like to know other people's thoughts because they'll have time to think about it. Write an email to <coughs> the dads at grapplingdads dot com if you would. Social medias. Yeah, check you us know, out on w- Facebook. Follow us, like yeah. us, wherever you can find us. I would like to know your opinion on this. Like, even if it's in a different sport, like if you were uh, a wrestler, if you're into judo, if you're into another martial art, I don't soccer for Christ's sake. Just let me know what your thoughts are on encouraging. You want to know who people. I want to hear from? Who the guy it? in Australia. There's one guy in Australia that follows. Oh. I want to hear from you. Yeah, I want to hear from you. Why? Because your accent kicks ass. <laughs> yes. It won't come through on email, but don't worry, bud. I will read it with one. A very, very bad one. <laughs> bad Australian accent coming up. Please. For the so, love of everything holy and pure. So we thank everybody for listening. All the support that we've got. Our sponsors in Tap Tape and Black Line Jiu-Jitsu in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We love it. Keep giving it up over here. You guys are awesome. For them. Like, share, review, Instagram, Facebook, <coughs> Twitter. And hey, my, we got like 50 followers on Twitter now, don't we? We went from like two. No, to we have like 62, Holy thanks to my wife. Crap. We do nothing with it because we're old and stupid. I don't get it. Check it out on Twitter. My wife does really fun stuff. Follow us anyway. <laughs> it's us. She just steals our <laughs> she steals our material and puts it yeah, there. Do it. Do it. So, go. And, uh, oh, yeah. I forgot something. Oh. The results of the t-shirt contest. Oh, yeah. We got screwed on that one. We got hosed. The ones we liked the best. No Failed. Did. You <laughs> assholes. <laughs> Why? You fucking assholes. It was B. The answer was B the all answer the time. was B, you son of a bitches. <laughs> God. I really liked that one. And I didn't notice. I designed all three of those, and it hurt my feelings every time they didn't get a vote. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, dude, oh. I was like, oh, look. A uh, got a vote. Ow, B didn't. Oh, that means C didn't either. Yeah. It hurt my feelings. It was, it was. I think it was pretty close between A and C. It was. It was yeah. like if we, if you and I would have voted, it would have been pretty well a tie. Yeah. So guess what? <laughs> That's the one we liked. We're yeah. making that shit, people. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so, for voting. We're gonna make our shit. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, we're right, making. No, we're not, we're not gonna, gonna do that. No. As far uh, as you know. Yeah, suck it, people. No. If you see it in pictures, so who won? Tell who won. A, B, or C. A. One with our patch that's going to make it be made into a patch, also. Yeah, that'll, that'll be nice. That'll be nice too. It'll, it'll so go good on it, a beanie. It will. Too. It'll look good. We yep. want to put on Ooh, the beanie. You're one. dead set on that beanie. Now I you're do. making me get the beanie. Made, I want a ass. beanie, bro. I know. So do I. I got this awesome beanie from my brother. It's a, a navy beanie. Yeah. I love it. But I, I want a grappling dad's beanie. Yeah, like we're beanies. gonna represent. I got a tiny little head, not a whole lot of hair. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I have no hair in the right. You have head, zero so hair. I have little. Fuck. You have none. So, but yeah, A was the big winner, and we have not done the drawing for the winner of the shirt. 
but you would definitely will get one. Yes. Um, mm. And it actually won't be that long because I have all the um, production done. I mean, all the pre-production done. Just have to get it over to my printer. Sweet. And that's what I do. And uh, and I owe Nick some banana bread for that lovely review that he wrote. Fucking asshole. He's actually getting brownies this week, I think. Yes, it is. It's yeah, brownies. Brownies. Coley's so. doing brownies for him. Which hey, I think is better than banana. Hey Nick, bread. I'm still com- I'm still coming at you, bro. Go Nick. Coming after you. If you could just keep on writing reviews like that. That'd be but great. next time could you plan the word spacing better so it doesn't come up as you're just uh, making fun of us? Say the nice shit first. No. Yes, yes. That's it. Yes. I was yes. Gonna say no, yes, no. yes, yes. So go, oh, they're awesome, but let me expand and then just yeah. trash us. Yeah. <laughs> For the people listening, go to our Facebook page. And look at the reviews. And look at the reviews. Oh my gosh. It's money. Yeah. We read yeah. it last episode, but if you haven't seen it, it it's it's downright amusing. I'm Beaker. Yes. He's Kermit he, the Frog. He's Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. And we are out. See ya. Bye.